What up, Pokemon peeps? How are you? Happy Thursday. Welcome to Thursdays on my channel. I really like to call Spooky Thursdays. This week's story has been pretty much going on for God knows how long. Now, <laughs> I've tried to make this video, I don't know how many times already, and it did not look right, it did not sound right, I didn't like it, so I went. So anyway, I'm going to try it again. <coughs> Let's see here. This is the story of the Holy Family Orphanage. Holy Family Orphanage was an orphanage built in 1914-1915. It came about due to the other two orphanages in the area being overpopulated. Overpopulated? Overrun? So anyway, in about 1915, it opened. It's literally, probably right after it was built. Now, the facade is sandstone, it's brick, it's gorgeous. Other room, it had laundry rooms, classrooms, playroom, uh, bathrooms, kitchens, and even a uh, church, cathedral, cathedral, that you would have to attend, I think, every day on a daily basis, no matter what religion you are. <clears throat> so anyway, this is this orphanage was expensive, built at time, costing between somewhere I've read some to like of a hundred thousand dollars, up to one hundred twenty thousand, ninety thousand. It differs, but anyway. It was built, let's see, it was basically a dream of one of the bishops that lived in Marquette at the time. Who, let's see here, who started everything off by doing a petition and going from there. And it, certainly after everything was said and done, it was built for both to house 200 children. But it grew to including infants and other kids. So it went from a range of 2nd grade to 8th grade and then high school and infancy. Yeah, get it. So anyway, the orphanage remained open for up till like 65, I believe, was when the last orphanage, la orphan, orphanage orphan left. And... <clears throat> the orphanage shut down in the about early 80s, about 1981, I believe, 82, somewhere there. Um, the offices closed down for good. Now, it stayed vacant for, again, many years. And then, up until a local businessman decided to purchase the building and hopefully remodel it. Revitalize it into making into lower, um, what you call, um, assisted living stories. I can't think, I swear. But anyway, that never really happened for whatever reason. I'm not sure. As far as I know, he declared bankruptcy and he tried to sell it back. If I read my notes right, let's see here. Uh, sorry. Um. Da, da, da. Yeah, it was abandoned. Eighty two. Um. Well, it was bought by a local businessman, like I said, who planned on revitalizing it, making it into a Sicilian facility, but. It failed to make necessary repairs, and he didn't want to sell the building. He he appraised this building at uh, one point six million dollars, while the city estimated it at two hundred thousand dollars. Since then, it's been hands changed. It's been it's been moved over to someone that. A lady that bought it with the hopes of having it as a 
performance arts school. But unfortunately, that never happened. And there's been a series of buyers who, for one reason or another, were unable to um, receive, get funding, basically. Um, so, <clears throat> fast forward to now. It was bought by a company and mine I believe I can't rightly remember um he he is now in the process of rebuilding so to speak the building for low income apartments okay so having said that get into a couple of the ghost stories shall we we shall this one has been around since I can remember and I think I've heard it the last time I heard it, it was probably in high school, not on TV. Um, one, one little, one day, this little girl decided she wanted to go out and play. Okay, she didn't ask permission. She didn't tell anyone where she was going, and she got stuck outside during a blizzard. And unfortunately, she ended up passing away from pneumonia. And this. According to the story, um, <clears throat> the teachers supposedly stuck her body in the middle of the hallway just to teach these kids a lesson. That's a pretty sick lesson if you ask me. So anyway, there was another one <clears throat> about a boy who drowned. They couldn't really find anything about that. All I know is he drowned and he was product of one of many product children that was product of abuse which was supposedly going on in the orphanage so yeah that was sad but the thing is that's that's stories but the other one is if all the people that live around it the neighbors often hear sobbing of children in the building in the room but there's no kids in the building hmm. no anyway <clears throat> like I was saying um the orphanage has now been sold to a developer and he's made him and his company or his company I have um been making the necessary uh repairs and rebuilding to make it in a low income apartment instead of sitting so for god any more years. But if you ever come to Marquette and you pass by a well a time a spooky overgrown building with most of the windows being boarded up that would have been the, the orphanage. Now, the outer and the inner have changed tremendously. So, it's really good. I just hope that the stories are true, which I can, can see, that the present residents don't mind sharing their poems with the uh, and I guess of the spirit spiritually thing. So anyway, that was my story. And I know I kinda of glass glanced jumped to place to place, but you yeah, get the idea. And I have personally seen the outside of the building before it was being renovated and yeah, it was a little creepy. But anyway, mm. I'm saying that Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so very much for all your patience. Um, I hopefully I can get another story up, and I will list as much information as I can so you guys can check it out. And by the way, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Wait down there, and you can become a Grunt Pokemon crew. Why not? And hopefully, listen to the rambling stories <laughs> of the paranormal as much as I can get. Mm, yeah. So anyway, also, 
if you like these type of stories, hit that like button. It helped me out a lot. And before I leave, I also want to say thank you for all who made it possible to make 38 subscribers. Each subscriber is amazing. It's uh, it's wonderful. I can't thank you guys enough. <coughs> so anyway, uh, until next time. Remember, just because Halloween is over, just means weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me on Uncle Puddle over here. I'm good. Bye.